with a population of around 700, Vernon, Florida is a small southern town located in the geographic center of Washington County in the Florida Panhandle. Named for George Washington's home, Mount Vernon, Vernon is just over 40 miles from Panama City Beach, the Gulf of Mexico, and the congestion of the world's most beautiful beaches. Offering a relaxed lifestyle while still enjoying easy access to all that the larger coastal areas offer, Vernon is centrally located between Pensacola to the west, Tallahassee to the east, and Dothan, Alabama to the north. Although relatively small, just four and a half square miles in area, Vernon is big in personality. We have a huge difference in our Highway 79. Lots of loss of business, unfortunately, but with change comes big opportunities. With the four lane coming through, we have had a lot of businesses, a lot of houses disrupted, taken down. Um, we are looking forward to new businesses because they have made room. And the taxes, of course, from these businesses will help increase the roads, usage, the pavings that we desperately need. We would like to encourage everyone, anyone, come in, say hello. We would love to have new businesses in this area, new families. We're a community-based area. We love people. Green and verdant, fertile and naturally pristine, and sitting on Holmes Creek, a shipping route used in the 19th century to connect Vernon with nearby Bonifay to the north and other areas in the region. A preponderance of fresh water ensures plentiful hunting, fishing, and water sports, with many boat ramps providing access to pristine freshwater springs. Until 1927, Vernon was the governmental seat for Washington County and still enjoys a rivalry with nearby Chipley, which now holds the title of county seat. Inclusive of many acres of fertile farmland, the Vernon area is home to many small farms with outstanding agricultural productivity. With crops including cotton, peanuts, corn and watermelons, Vernon offers a unique lifestyle with a pristine, unspoiled natural beauty while still embracing the future. And things are changing rapidly in Vernon, Florida. It's, it's everything that exemplifies what a small town's about. Uh, very close-knit, very caring community. Uh, anytime we, we deal with anything from uh, whether it be a need of a student or a family in need, uh, that's when this town really uh, shines and glows and, and uh, often here at the school we use the, the phrase about a, a small town big heart and uh, the community will embrace uh, one another and, and uh, uh, show up and turn out to support any need that there may be. Sitting on a brand new four lane highway connecting Vernon with the coast and points north including nearby Interstate Highway 10 and just west of a second new four-lane highway, Vernon is poised to take advantage of growth as the coastal areas become more congested. Businesses which are savvy and take advantage of the well-priced properties currently available on this four-lane highway will benefit from location and realize savings when their properties are tied into the new roadway saving thousands of dollars in construction costs. The uh, infrastructure in Vernon has been improved significantly uh, by the four-laning. And what I mean is the side roads that had sewer on them before all the sewer has been redone, cleaning up all the water and sewer down there around the square was really a mess. And that's been redone, and, and that's been redone mostly by the state. People don't realize that the state of Florida has helped Vernon a whole lot. Also, there's a lot of space in the old city hall that could be really utilized if the city would develop it and keep it up. Also, development along the creek is, is uh, possible because a lot of people don't realize that there's 
about uh, two miles of creek frontage, it's in the city. And then north of town, there's probably another half a mile in the city on the creek. Where there's water, that's going to be where the development is. Proximity to two four-lane highways, along with easy access to the Northwest Florida Beaches International Airport, Interstate Highway 10, and a deep water port in nearby Panama City, as well as the offer of sewer and water infrastructure necessary for industrial and residential growth, Vernon is poised on the cusp of the future. An added incentive is the first-rate fire department currently enjoyed by the city of Vernon. With proper equipment, training and personnel, and water sources, Vernon recently was awarded an ISO rating of five, potentially saving both businesses and residences each year on insurance rates. The ISO rating is a scale from one to 10, with one being the best number to get, and very few departments in the nation can actually get a one, a one rating. Um, Vernon managed to get a five rating, which is hard for even a paid department to do. Um, so yeah, we are very proud as a volunteer department to actually be able to make it to a five rating. 40% um, of it is based on your water supply. 10% is based on the 911 communications and 50% is actually de derived of just the department, the amount of training we've had, just the equipment and everything we have to go with it. With the ISO ratings, currently approximately half of the insurance companies follow the ISO ratings to figure up insurance rates. Um, so the better the number, the lower your rates will be. Both businesses and residences will notice, should notice a difference. Our new status, we went from a seven to a five. Our new status goes into effect April 1st, 2018. So those companies that are using the ISO ratings, their customers should see a savings. Vernon has what new business wants. With a ready and able workforce, fueled by three first-rate public schools, including an elementary school, middle school, and high school as well as nearby Florida Panhandle Technical College in Chipley. Thanks for visiting us on this virtual tour of Vernon, Florida. Next time you're looking for something just a little different, take a deep breath, relax, and get back to what's really important. Check us out at vernonfl.com. We'll be waiting for you.